Max Blasky with you on the call. Moments away from the boys' basketball game getting started between the Hanover Wildcats and the Diller Odell Griffins. Want to thank again Corey Jensen for taking the time out of his day catching me. And of course, you can catch Coach's Corner interview daily at 5 30 after sports running. Diller and Southern Monday. Axel can tell you Tuesday. Lynn and Hanover Wednesday. Frankfurt Valley Heights on Thursday, and on Friday it was Marysville and Frankfurt. Here in the boys game, we have two teams coming in off of victories. Hanover coming in off a 54-30 victory against Onega. Diller Odell coming off a 55-30 win against Lewiston. The Griffins come in with a 3-3 three and three record, while the Hanover Wildcats come in with a 3-1 and one record, ranked number two in the Class 1A Division Two At the beginning of the day, new rankings will come out. and figure they'll drop just a little bit with a loss last week to Blue Valley, but still a competitive team here in Hanover, replacing a lot like Coach Jensen was talking about before, but still a good young team. We're going to take one more time out, come back with starters and starting line. Lineups. You're listening to High School Basketball here, KNDY Radio. People like all different kinds of cars, but there's one thing everyone wants in a car quality. Same thing's true with your car loan, new or used, buy or lease. You want quality in your car and in your car loan. For a quality car loan, you know who to turn to. With great rates and personal service, shop like a cash customer with a quality car loan from us. Citizen State Bank of Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Quality banking since 1907. Member FDIC. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon & Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. Sap Brothers Petroleum works hard all year round to be there for you when it matters most. Their goal is simple, to be your number one source for propane, lubricants, and extreme diesel fuel. And they'll reach that goal by treating you like family. Don't wait for winter to set in. Get that propane tank filled today by calling the winning team at Sap Brothers Petroleum. Still proudly serving all of Nebraska and the Hanover community, Sap Brothers is proud to announce their newest location in Blue Rapids. That's Sap Brothers Petroleum, servicing your residential and farming to commercial and industrial needs. Double the joy! Double the joy! Double the joy! Ho, ho, ho! We're doubling the joy this holiday season at Blue Valley Technologies. Refer a friend, and you get $40, and they get $40. Refer as many friends and family members as you can before the end of the year, and the credits will show up on your Blue Valley bill. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash double the joy today. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. And doubling it up on basketball action now. Boys game just about ready to tip off starting lineup getting announced in this contest. We're going to go ahead and run through them here, starting, of course, with the visiting Diller Odell Griffins. They come in this season with a record of 3-3 three and three here before both teams hit a Christmas break. They're going to be started by number 15, Zachary Warren, a junior. Zach Warren is probably what I'll go with. Number 23, Callan McKinney, a junior. Number 24, Cooper Morgan, a sophomore. Number 31, Caden Sutton, a senior. And number 32, T.J. Vitosh, 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 a junior. So Warren, McKinney, Morgan, Sutton, the big starting five for Diller Odell. Only one senior on this whole roster, and that is Cade Sutton. So the young team here today will only go seven or eight deep. Not a lot of depth for Diller Odell as head coach Dylan Hendricks tries to work out some. Kinks here early on in the season. Got able to talk to him early on in today, and he said he was looking forward to this game, looking forward to the physicality that Hanover will come out with, and looking forward to see where his boys stand against a ranked team down here in Kansas. For the home team, Hanover Wildcats, they come in with a record 3-1. and one. Of course, ranked number two in Class 1A Division Two. Probably will drop as they lost to Blue Valley last Tuesday, 64-48, to as they are 2-1 in TVO tournament play before Christmas break gets underway. 
starting for the home Hanover Wildcats, it will be at number one, Cole Meyer, a senior. Number three, Josh Zardenicki, a senior. Number four, Braylon Mine, a freshman. Number 20, Brigham Bruna, a junior. And number 23, Chase Bruna, a senior. For the Hanover Wildcats is, of course, athletic director and head coach Corey Jensen, assisted by Chris Mine. So for the Wildcats, it will be Meyer, Zardinicki, Mine, Verna, and Verna out there with your starting five, working on a three and one record and looking to get a win here before we jump on end into Christmas break. Hike for both teams here and wait for both teams is going to be a fun matchup. It will be Zardinicki in the jump circle against Morgan as both teams look to tip off here on Monday. Monday night basketball. First tip of the night will go to the freshman, Brigham Bruna, or excuse me, Braylon Mine, the only freshman here starting for the Wildcats. Of course, Hanover Wildcats in their home white unis with blue and red trim and blue numbers. Diller Odell will be in their road to black with orange numerals and some white trims with an orange stripe down the side. We're going to quickly atop, and first turnover is going to go Hanover's way. That's going to quite control that ball was Zarbanicki. Lost it off his feet, and it'll be Diller Odell with an opportunity to get the scoring going here tonight. Inside it goes, and our first foul is going to be called on the game. Cooper Moore in the sophomore for the Griffins, working it tough down low on the left block. He's going to pick up the personal foul, and that is going to be our first foul early on in the night, shooting foul as well. Number 23, Chase Bruna will pick that up. The senior, of course, his brother Brigham Bruna, a junior, will try and keep them, keep them straight here tonight as first free throw was missed hard off the right side of the rim. Might have heard that one through the mark. We're going to start the night off over one from the line as Cooper Morgan couldn't find the mark early on. Second one's a little bit better, a little bit softer. one nothing. Diller Odell. First quarter action just getting underway. Bringing it up here nice near side. It will be Bruna. Bruna works it inside. Now swings it outside. Thought about a three was Brigham Bruna. Bruna thought about a three on that one. Now he swings it near side here to Chase. Chase in the left corner. Swings it all the way up top to Meyer. Meyer now gets off to Zarbanicki. Zarbanicki far into the lane. The lone senior or the one of the four seniors on this team quickly inside right block. It goes to Chase Bruna. Chase Bruna trying to work against the Dillard Odell defense. Nice step through up and under. Chase Bruna with the fancy first footwork against the Dillard Odell defense. That was a nice play from the senior as he Fake pump, fake on the fadeaway shot, step through. He's going to be rewarded with an and one opportunity as he steps to the line. First bus bucket of the night will go towards Hanover. Troop dribbles left side as he stands about parallel with the line. He's going to be pure from the stroke as that foul is going to be on Zachary Warren. First one for Diller Odell. So now both teams, one foul apiece here early on action. Man-to-man straight defense here for the white and blue of Hanover. Ends in the lane goes the big body of T.J. Vitos. He can't get that one to fall down and coming out of it will be mine of Hanover. Hanover brings it up right side. Mine trying to work a little cross leg and it's going to be picked Cooper Morgan got his palm on that one, forced the turnover as Coach Corey Jensen barking out instructions, telling him to move the ball, a little less dribbling. Up. Got a chance there to talk to Corey before, and of course replacing a lot of boys from last year's teams, but the boys have stepped up and they've been playing good here first part of the season, but it still will be a learning opportunity for a lot of these players not having starting experience in prior years. There's a wide open Morgan down below as the two is way too easy there for Diller Odell. Good little inlet pass there for McKinney here near side as Hanover's back this way. Quick move down the left baseline. Couldn't get that one to roll. It's Josh Zarbanicki. And now coming away with it will be Meyer. Cole Meyer picks the pocket on the attempted outlet pass. And just like that, Hanover two-point lead 5-3 as we play first quarter action here in Hanover. Still man-to-man defense for the Wildcats as a turnover is going to go towards Diller Odell's way. That will be called, oh, if I could speak here, Kalen McNe- McKinney went to throw a pass but wasn't quite prepared to get that one gone. So a turnover, Diller Odell is now setting it up. It will be Myers off the key. Meyer gets off to Zarbanicki. Strong take left side. Good job, Zarbanicki, as his first two is up on the board for Josh. Good strong move from the senior here. Goes about 6'4". Good upper body strength. 
took that one right to the hole. 7-3 is our Hanover score. Swinging it near side. It's going to be Warren. Warren goes out top now towards McKinney. McKinney now dribbles right side into the corner. Hanged it tightly by Brigham Bruna. Bruna still sticking with him down the right side. That's going to force an almost turnover into the lane. It gets to Sutton. He can't come away with it. Hanover forces the turnover. Zarbanecki right in front of us here as we look. Did a little step through. There's a push. We're not going to call it. We're going to kick out a three. That's going to be long off the hands of Mine. Mine can't find the range from deep. Hanover 0 for 3 now early on from 0 for 2 from 3-point opportunity land. As now Diller Odell back there near side. Working left to right as I see it into the lane. Nice strong move. Mine stayed straight up. Warren going to get past the contact. It's going to go Hanover's way. Good job there by Braylon Mine sticking straight up. The freshman, the one starting freshman on this starting five. Three on the way from Zardinicki. No good. Rebound's going to be taken out by Vitas as he's going to push it out near side towards McKinney. Dillardell slowing it down just a little bit, though, as they get it to Sutton. Sutton, nice strong move. Left side, bodies go flying. Offensive rebound, Dillard Odell. Second opportunity, up and good for Zachary Warren. The junior gets his first two buckets here of the night. 7-5 is our score. Meyer will bring it across the timeline now for Hanover, working right to left as I see it, right in front of me, working their offense, are the Wildcats. Zarbanicki trying to get to that left-hand lane again. Of course, left-handed player can't find it. Now swings the near side, Bruna. Back inside it goes as working against the defense is mine. Mine put off the shot. Chase Bruna comes down with the offensive rebound inside. Can't fight it. Other Bruna gets it. Brigham Bruna comes out of it with the ball. Shot on the way from the short corner. No good. Fourth opportunity for Hanover is getting into the lane as Cole Mine. And we're going to have a foul on Miller Odell as hacking down was the defense for the Griffins. Four opportunities there for the Wildcats offensively. Good job staying on the glass against the smaller Diller Odell team. First substitution for the Wildcats will be 14. Tanner Bruna will now come into the game for Cole Meyer. So we're going to have Brigham Bruna, Chase Bruna, and Tanner Bruna all on the floor at one time. I'll try and keep them straight here for you guys. It's going to go up top. Zarbanicki now swings right side. That's going to be Brigham working it top of the key. Now swings it top of the key. Zarbanicki strong into the lane. Push off again is going to be another foul on Diller Odell. That one before was on Cooper Morgan. We'll see who they park, take this one with, as that's been the key here. They've just got it to Zarbanicki on this kind of left wing elbow. Let the left-handed player go to work. Caden Sutton is going to pick up his first personal. Three team fouls now for Diller Odell. As into the game comes Braden Wendland. Third's action for the substitute from the Griffins. Swinging it inside. They do go to Morgan, and that's going to be an easy two. Excuse me, that was Caden Sutton who just got his big body to the spot on the block, and Hanover couldn't do anything about it. They're good enough defense-wise. Into the lane goes striking Bruna. That's going to be Tanner Bruna, the freshman coming off the bench. The lengthy freshman only standing about probably, oh, I'd say 6-1, but good length on good hustle there from the freshman. That's going to be a foul out of bounds. 7-7 is our score. First quarter action, 325 here left to play. That foul will be on Preston Engelman, who came in for the Griffins. Up top, it is Brigham with the ball. Right side trying to work against this man-to-man defense. Shorter Bruna, Bruna trying to find someone, finally gets it to Zarbanicki. Trying to find it in the corner here, backdoor cut. Nice little backdoor cut near side as Chase Bruna couldn't find the mark. Good pass from Josh Zarbanicki. Little eye contact here right in front of us was one that backdoor cut finally got it, but it's going to capitalize it as we are still tied here at seven. There's going to be an elbow shot on the way that's going to be long for Diller Odell. That's going to be, I don't believe for sure exactly who put, oh, Preston Engelman put that up for Diller Odell. Zarbanicki on the other end went off the shoulder of mine for Hanover. Mine controls it, swings it right side, somehow gets it to Zarbanicki right side. Can't roll that one in as the layup's no good. Back down Diller Odell. Hanover with opportunities here early on in the game, but this is not able to capitalize. Tied up in here at sevens. 2.30 is our time left to play. First quarter action as the Hanover Wildcats play. Host the Diller Odell swinging it here near side. It goes to McKinney. McKinney trying to work it in. His pace is now slow. This man-to-man defense for Hanover has caused Diller Odell to start their offense way out on top of the three-point line. Good little post move inside there from Cooper Morgan, but he can get that one to finish against Zarbanicki. Diller Odell does have a, oh, I'd say not a lot more size, but they are a bigger team here tonight, so it'll be important for Hanover to get to their spots good as there's a nice little backdoor cut. Found Bruna. He's going to take the bump. No foul called as Bruna's going to pull down the board. Excuse me, that's mine inside. Mine kicks it out for a three. As Brian Bruna couldn't find the mark, but Chase Bruna is going to, or Santa Bruna is going to bring down the board. Foul Diller Odell's way here is 
Brunas are flying all over the court. That was Tanner here near side that got the offensive board. So already offensive board number nine for the, or eight or nine for the Wildcats. Into the game now will be Cameron Juniman, the sophomore. He's going to check out Brigham Bruna, the junior. So two for 20. As Chase Bruna will be the trigger man underneath their own basket. He gets it to the elbow to Zarbanicki. Nice little backdoor cut. Finds the inbounder, and that's going to be up and good. Chase Bruna now with his second bucket of the first quarter. Good play design there from Coach Jensen. You throw it up to the elbow for Zarbanicki. Let the mad man, big man get it and just step in right underneath the basket was Bruna, as now Chase will step to the line here. Already one for one for the line. We'll have a one-shot opportunity as that foul was on Winland for Dillard Odell. So already five team fouls for the Griffins as first free throw is up and good for Chase. 10-7 is our score. 146 to left to play here in this quick moving first quarter of boys action. Dillard Odell playing here against Hanover. Dillard Odell gets it inside. Big body. Kate Sutton was able to get that one up and go. And all 10 of Dillard or 9 Dillard Odell's points besides the one free throw have come within five feet of the basket. Getting to the lane that blocked out of there. Hannah Bruna with the drive, but the good reception and save there near side by Cooper Morgan to Dillard Odell. That's going to save the possession for the Griffins, and they take a timeout. We'll take a 30 with them. You're listening to that High School Basketball on KNDY. Surprise the man in your life this Christmas with something he really wants, more power. Table saws, cordless drills, impacts, trimmers, and chainsaws. Perfect for gift giving, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber have Milwaukee and DeWalt power tools and accessories. Pull lasting holiday memories fresh from the flame of your new solo stove fire pit. Built for the backyard and beyond and great for any age, make a solo stove from Hometown Lumber in Marysville the number one gift on your list this year. Max Blasky with you here on the call as the night continues. 10-9 is our score as Hanover has the early first quarter lead, 125 left to play. Play, but it has been the post play of Dillard Rodell that has kept them in this game. They do have bigger size than Hanover here tonight. Hanover is the more athletic team. They like to get out and run in transition. And I think for both of these teams, from Hanover talking to both coaches, it's going to be the execution in the half court offense that is going to carry them as far as they can. Three ball on the way from the left side. That's going to be Vitosh. Can't find the mark. That's pulling down the board. Bruna Chase brings it out for Hanover. Quickly the other way, three ball on the way, air ball. Braylon Mine, the freshman, couldn't find the mark from the right wing, frustrated with himself. A shot he can get later on in the, season, or later on in the shot clock. I think that's what Coach Denton told him. So turnover, Hanover is now. Bill Rodell brings it back. Just rolled under a minute left to play. They could possibly take the lead here. There's a good little backdoor cut getting chopped by down low as Vitoff. They finally get it off towards... Morgan. Morgan keeps fighting down below. Second opportunity, no good and coming out of it. There of the pack is Cameron Juniman for Hanover. So two opportunities for Dilla Rodell, but no dice on either of them. It's back to the offensive lane. It comes Hanover. Trying to work at Zarbanicki. Finds the back door cut. Is that been the bread and butter here? Get it to that left elbow for Josh Zarbanicki and let Chase Bruna cut from the near side corner and that's all they've really been doing it's been happening right in front of me here they're face guarding all these guards for Hanover out top so that's letting the athletics of Hanover kind of shake into effect Bruno will step now towards the line that first free throw is going to be up and good Bruno now three for three from the line here that foul for Dillard Odell is going to be on Zachary Warren the junior that's going to be already second 17 fouls already for Dillard Odell so the rest of this quarter the rest of this half Hanover will be shooting free throws mine's going to take a break as Bruno comes back in that's Brigham number 20 take his position Chase steps to the line second free throws up no good there for the senior Chase Bruno but still 11-9 lead is our score, Hanover leading by two. Swings it there, far side. It's soon to be McKinney left with it. Now to be tossed. Now back up top. Ball in the hands of Whitland. Whitland swings it back near here. Side McKinney. McKinney trying to go baseline, but I think we're going to have a hold down low and a foul. Personal physical play continues from the girls. They're just tuning in. Hanover girls were able to defeat them. 942 after holding a 26 to 17 point halftime lead. A physical game we had in that one, and it has continued on over towards the boys. 
Chase Chase Bruno will pick up his second personal foul, so most of the scoring for Hanover will take a seat now with 15 seconds left to play first quarter action. A near still here out top, but Vitosh is able to control it for the Griffins. Swings it far side to Morgan. Morgan working on the left wing. Now swings it here near side top the key. Four seconds left to play. Not sure if anyone knows it. Swings it though. Morgan elbows. Shot's going to be no good, and that's going to be the score at the end of the first quarter. Hanover Wildcats leading 11-9. You're listening to High School Basketball here at KNDY Radio. Not everyone can become a Lennox dealer, so you'll be glad to know when you buy a Lennox from Hanover Electric Incorporated, you not only get the best products in the business, you also get a tradition of experience in making sure your home is as comfortable as it can be. Because every independent Lennox dealer must pass the Lennox Quality Dealer Standards Program, the toughest test in the industry, and what it means is you get a dealer you could always count on. Lennox, one last thing to worry about. No two farms are alike. And at Blue Valley Insurance, we understand that. That's why you'll get farm insurance coverage tailored just for you. We look at your individual situation and help you figure out the coverages that make the most sense for your farm, all at an affordable price. No matter what you grow or how big or small your farm, we can help. Your roots are in farming. Ours are in protecting you. Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. 11-9 11-9 to 9 is our score here as the Wildcats hold the two-point advantage over the Griffins of Odell. There in that first quarter, two points for Kate Sutton from Diller Odell, three from Cooper Morgan, two for Zachary Warren. Warren does have two fouls, so at 17 fouls already for the Griffins. will allow Hanover to shoot free throws the rest of the way. Hanover three for four from the line. That was all Chase Bruna, but the senior does have two fouls. The only <clears throat> two fouls for Hanover in that first half. Three balls on the way off the left of the rim. Somehow tapped up and in. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Cooper Morgan. There was two bodies down there, Morgan and Sutton. Three ball long on the way. Hanover couldn't get down the defensive rebound and just tapping it up close to the top of the rim is Morgan. So Diller Odell now tied here at 11 with Hanover. Swinging the near side is going to be Bruna. Now right back up off the Bruna. That's bringing up top chase here near side. We're going to talk about a three top the key. Now they swing it over right side to Cameron Juneman. Now they swing it here back near side. Tanner Bruna, that's working against this kind of, ooh, kind of just a matchup zone defense is what Ziller throwing him out there. There's a tip and a steal here near side. Callan McKinney all the way up and and one as McKinney. Oh, no, we're not going to get it. That's going to be a travel. McKinney, too many steps there left side. I thought they got the foul. But McKinney comes up a little hobbly, but that defense for Diller Odell, they just kind of lulled Hanover to sleep, and Hanover kind of got lax today, so throwing it around the top of the horn turnover. Thankfully, Hanover was able to sneak away with it, still tied here at 11. Bruno will bring it across the timeline. That will be Tanner. Now he swings it here near side to Mine. Mine tries to slip it right side. It's going to be a kickball. We'll stay Hanover's way as that one went all the way about seven rows deep. There's only about nine rows here in Hanover. About top row there, that kickball went, but it will stay Hanover. Up top, it'll be Tanner. Now he swings it right side to bring him, bring him right back up top to Hanover. They find Zarbanicki at the free throw line. They get it down to Bruna. Bruna kicks it outside here near towards Cole Meyer. Meyer gets into the lane, but Meyer's going to have it stolen as the quick hands of Odell. Of course, another Hanover turnover here. Uncharacteristic from this Hanover team early on, getting, getting pushed around down low. Quick little big boy move down low. Speaking of that, Cade Sutton put the moves on Zarbanicki for Hanover, but that will be a turnover, or a foul, excuse me, Diller Odell as they were fighting for the board, the ball went out of bounds, I thought it was a simple out of bounds, but no, we're going to have another foul, Diller Odell, as these free throws are really starting to pile up, and fouls, that's now going to be two on Cade Sutton, Caden Sutton with two fouls, the senior Zachary Warren, the junior with two fouls as well for Diller Odell, Hanover already shooting the one and one Bonus tied here at 11, 6.30 left to play first quarter. Zarbanicki first free throw up and good. Fell quite a ways back from that free throw line, but still was able to get that one to roll in. Zarbanicki now steps to the line. Two dribbles from that left hand. A spin in the right. Left hand shot up and pure right off the front of the rim. So two for two there for Zarbanicki as Hanover's increased their lead while well, taking their lead. 12 
or two point lead, 13 to 11 as we play. 6.30 left to play, second quarter action. Swinging it around the top of the key. It's going to be Vitos looking to get it inside, and he does. Nice little layup. No good. <clears throat> Cooper Morgan couldn't find the mark from that. Zarbaniki comes out of the lift there. Thought it was going to be a travel, but it wasn't. Diller Odell steals it away from Zarbaniki there as Sutton goes stealing, laying down to the ground. There's going to be three left corner on the way. Moneyball keeps it. Vitos, his first bucket of the night as the Diller Odell crowd is loud and in charge here. Three answer on the way, but the answer, Cole Meyer. All that in the girls game. Just when Diller Odell hits a three, Meyer comes down for Hanover, hits one right in front of me as I look at it. 16-14 as the energy level is high here on this Monday night of basketball. Vitos left side, just hit a three, now swings it back up, off to Morgan. Morgan tries to get inside Vitos, same spot, same result, no can't get it, rebound's going to be taken out, Braylon Mine up Hanover. Tries to get it up top towards Meyer, and he does. Meyer thought about a three top of the key, but won't. Stepping into it, though, here near side will be Tanner Bruna. Darn, that one was close. Tanner Bruna hit the left side of the rim, bounced straight up, goes over the top of the backboard, though. Turnover, Hanover, back to Delaro Odell it goes. Substitutions now for the Griffins. Preston Engelman will come back into the game along with Braden Wendland. Junior and sophomore, respectively. It's like we talked about. Diller Odell will only play seven players, so it will be the seven as there's just a bad pass coming from Callahan. Or Callan McKinney went off the fingertips of TJ Vitos here, right side. Couldn't quite control that, and Jensen's going to want a timeout for Hanover. 30 second timeout. We'll take it with them. 14 16 is our score as Hanover leads. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. 16-14 is our score as Diller Odell has kept this one close, even leading there in the first quarter of action. But Hanover holding the two-point advantage here. Second quarter of play, getting ready to kick back underway. Five minutes left to play there. It's Corey Jensen once wanted a timeout there. Talked to his boys, talked about it there in the pregame a little bit. This is a uh, younger slash older team, I want to call it. You know, there's three seniors that start, but just not a lot of players that had playing time last year, and it's showing here tonight. Three ball on the way. Money, Brigham Bruna, the junior, getting into the scoring column as he smacks down that triple from the left wing. 19-14 now is our score. That's going to be the second triple for Hanover in this quarter alone. Swinging it inside. Vitos tries to get it blocked out of nowhere. Zardinicki raised the ladder on that. Now turnover. Diller Odell. T.J. Vitos going to keep those happy feet down here right side wing as it's going to come back over towards Hanover's way. Boy, I want to talk about that block there from Josh Zardinicki. There is no one in the lane, and the taller Sutton put that one up from the left block it. Out of nowhere, Zarbanicki jumped towards the Raptors, got a good, nice little block, gave Hanover an extra possession. Now they're back in offense. Kind of a box in one. They're playing now a good little square there on Zarbanicki. It's going to be Bruno looking to get it. Now they get it here near side to Bergen Bruno. They go inside towards Chase. Chase tries to work baseline. Three ball on the way. It's going to be short. No good from Cole Meyer. Fighting for that rebound there. Meyer almost got it, but it's going to be pulled out of there near side by Engelman for Diller Odell. A wild shot running, but offensive rebound taken down by Morgan as no one for Hanover went after it. But turnover nonetheless as Bruna comes out of it. Gets it up top now quickly to Meyer. They're swinging near side here. Zarbanicki in the left corner. They're going to think Brigham Bruna in the second three. Will he get it off the puff fake? He's going to be clobbered, and he's going to get an opportunity now from the line. So the junior stepping up, hit a three early on, and that's all you need in high school basketball. A little pump fake. Got the defender up in the air, and another personal foul is going to go over towards Diller Odell's way. Nine personal now on the evening, and Brigham, Brigham, or Brigham Bruna will step to the line to shoot three free throws. First one's going to be off no good there. Just a little long from the shooter. That foul will be on Preston Engelman for Diller Odell, and that's already going to be his third, so the reserve off the bench. Three fouls now for the Griffin. Second free throw is up and good for Brigham. As he calmly knocks down it. 
taking a beach, taking a seat now on the bench will be Engelman and Vitas. Coming back into the game, Whitland and Warren for the Griffins. Third of three free throws is Jen. Uh, hit every part of the board, and we're going to have that an over the bat call there. Josh Darbinick, he got a little bit too aggressive. He's going to pick up his first personal foul, bringing Bruin, of course, couldn't find the mark on the third free throw. So Bruna goes one for three from the line on the three-point opportunity. Gives Han- Hanover, though, the six-point lead. 20-14 to 14 is our score as we play second quarter action here. Just rolled under four minutes left to play. Swinging it here near side. That's going to be McKinney working against Brigham. Now they swing it far side into Vitosh. Now left top three ball on the way from dead on. Kate Sutton's going to ring up a triple. As two threes now for both teams have us within a three-point deficit. Mine right side gets it inside towards Bruna. Nice little pump fake there from Chase Bruna as he gets the easy deuce to go. Just every time Diller Odell finds a bucket, they just can't get a stop defensively. But good job, Hanover, for having an answer for everything. Diller Odell's throwing back at him. Straight man to man now for Hanover. Is quickly getting by his man was Warren. Warren gets into the lane, can't find the shot to go, but Cooper Morgan gets the offensive board, and that's going to be a timeout. Diller Odell. We're going to take it with them. 22-19 is our score. Three, oh, three minutes left to play. Second quarter action. From the ground up, Midwest Product Hanover can assist with concrete drives, parking, walks, entries, foundations, and support walls. Quality people help produce quality products, and you can rely on their crews for a job done right. Concrete plants at Hanover, Washington, and Clay Center. Midwest Products also haul rock, sand, and gravel. They have a crane for rent and can assist with site preparation. Start your next job with a call for a quote today from Midwest Products at Hanover. Back and forth action as we play here. Second quarter underway, 3.08 left to play. Every time Diller Odell seems to get a three or even get a bucket for that matter, Hanover just seems to have the answer. Not putting together stops are the Griffins. But Hanover has taken advantage. Talked about it. Dillo Odell, probably a little bit bigger team than Hanover stands here at this point in the season. But Hanover, a well more athletic team. They get it to Zarbanicki on the left wing, and that's where they're going to run their offense. They get it here near side to Mine. Mine gets inside. Now kicks it out. Zarbanicki's going to try a triple. Pass to money. Josh Zarbanicki, his first triple here of the evening. Third in this quarter for Hanover as the big man extends his range out to the three-point lane. Also gives Hanover the six-point advantage. Trying to work his way against Zarbanicki is Sutton. Sutton tries to back him down, gets it off to Warren. Warren works baseline, up and under, no good. Rebound's going to be taken down by Mine of Hanover. Mine running to the free throw line, stop off, kicks back out Zarbanicki three. That one's going to be way off to the right. It was a good-looking shot, just came off that hang, that left hand just a little bit funny. So no dice for Hanover. Is checking back into the game will be Tanner Bruna. He's going to take Chase Bruna's seat. So freshman comes in for senior, gets Gives Chase a little breathing opportunity with two minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Across the timeline, it comes Warren. Now they swing right side into the hands of McKinney. McKinney now swings it here near side for Winland. Winland trying to work against Bruna. Bruna's going to pick it. Actually, that's mine. Mine gets all the way to the rim. Easy to there. Braylon Mine picks the pocket. The freshman of Raiden Winland. And two points go mine way and or Hanover's way. 27-19, just rolled under two minutes to play here. Second quarter action before halftime. Up top it is Sutton. Sutton working against Zarbanicki, though, in the lane. Nice little quick move. Boy, that was quick off the bucket. Colin McKinney with the nice little two-step down into the lane. He gets the easy deuce for Diller Odell as he beat his defender right off the block. Zarbanicki a little give and go with Bruna there. That's Tanner. He is going to turn it over. It's going to come Diller Odell's way near side as Warren brings it across the timeline. Four on five now as finally getting back into the action as Winlin for the Griffins. Up top it's Winlin with the ball looking for someone and he just finally finds Warren in the lane. Nice little left hand turnaround fader. No good offensive rebound taken out. Cooper Morgan and the big Cooper Morgan Morgan eating on the glass here in this first half. <laughs> That's probably four offensive uh, rebounds there for the seniors. Now Hanover offensively looking to break this Diller Adele defense. Swings in here near side. Tanner Bruna. Tanner Bruna is going to try a three and not the shot coach from sure was wanting on that one. One minute left to play here before halftime. Coming in across the timeline, Zachary Warren, Hanover holding 
a four-point advantage, getting the baseline there and just kind of plowing his way through is Caden Sutton. He's going to be no dice on the shot, and Tanner Bruna comes down with the rebound. Fast pace, back and forth action now as mine has it up top for the Wildcats. Swinging it here near side, bringing Bruna, looking for an outlet. Finally finds Zarbanicki about the free throw line. Finally hands it off to mine as they roll a little pick and roll top to key. Mine down the right-hand lane off the backboard. It's going to be a turnover, Hanover's way. A frustration is getting towards Hanover just a little bit. Coach Jensen wanting a foul but not getting it there. An opportunity now for Diller Odell to cut into this four-point lead. 27-23 is our score. 20 seconds left to play here. First half action. But Diller Odell will hold for the last shot, I'm sure. 15 seconds with it. Warren up top. Now they swing it here near side. That is going to be Sutton. Sutton swings it back side to Warren. Now inside they go to Morgan. They're going to kick it out. Three-point opportunity from the left corner. No ball. Air ball. Mine's going to come away with it. Three seconds. Mine at half court. Two. Mine's got to get it up. He does. Almost got it. But no dies. Halftime score as Hanover leads 27-23. We're going to take a quick break, come back with that scores and highlights from first half action. 71 degrees all the way. 73 degrees, please. So what's your perfect degree of comfort? We'll help you find it with professional Ream HVAC service that'll keep your home comfy year-round, save on energy costs, and may qualify for utility rebates and tax credits. So enjoy a new degree of comfort. 72 degrees, and I'm good to go. Get professional service and all brands of equipment. Call B&W Electric in Hanover, your local Ream contractor, at 785-337-2598 today. Need to make a power purchase by year's end? Can Equip has got you covered. With 14 locations, you'll find quality pre-owned inventory changing daily. Browse inventory right from your smartphone at canequip.com to see what's available. Looking for something specific? Visit Can Equip in Marysville and talk to a sales professional to help you find it before the year is out. Can Equip, Can Equip you. At Kramer Oil, they know you have options when it comes to a propane provider, but why call an out-of-town company when Kramer Oil is local, reliable, and flexible? Personal attention and propane when you need it, where you need it, along with convenient text ordering options. New customers get $0.10 off per gallon on their first delivery. Contact them by calling or texting 785-562-2466. The Kramer Oil family, serving your family since 1976. Quality health care dedicated to your satisfaction. That's the standard of the Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic. Your choice for quality care right where you live. Doctors Roger and Linda Warren and nurse practitioners Aubrey Schaefer and Jada Edgar offer general hospital and surgery services, home health, swing beds, and long-term care. Hanover Hospital and the Warren Clinic, your choice for quality health care right where you live. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing and is excited to introduce a new and improved mobile banking app for your smartphone. Simply search UBT Mobile in the App Store and download. It's a mobile fast world, and so is United Bank and Trust. The bank for your future. United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Pompa shot night here as a bunch of kids are out on the court trying to earn themselves a two-liter. Also a benefit raffle and a bake sale for Mrs. Hargadine here in Hanover. Had a good turnout, had a good soup supper before the day. And hot action here in the gym tonight as the Hanover Wildcats lead at half 27-23 is our score as it was a tight contest throughout. Going to go ahead and take a look at scoring. Going to start with the visit. All scoring done for both teams by the starting five. No bench points for either teams here tonight. Led in part by nine points from Cooper Morgan for Diller Odell. The sophomore had six there in the second quarter. Seven points for Caden Sutton. Three points for TJ Vitosh, who had a big three, but was answered quickly by Hanover on a little run there. Two points also for Callan McKinney and Zachary Warren. For Hanover, they were led in part by their one of three seniors, Chase Bruna, who had nine points, had seven there in the first quarter, was the majority, almost all the scoring for Hanover there in the fourth. Brigham Bruna pitched in four points. Braylon Mine pitched in two points. 
Josh Zarbenicki pitched in seven points, including five there in the third, one triple for the senior. And Cole Meyer also hit a triple. He has five points. So Hanover had three triples there in the second quarter. Diller Odell had three. That has been a very even game so far here. First half action, 11-9 to nine was our score after first quarter, 16 uh, points scored there by Hanover and half got them 27-14 for Diller Odell. Got them 23. So we're going to take one more time out. We're going to come back with some look-ins and see what both teams need to do to come away with a win here in the second half as kids continue to shoot on top of shot night here in Hanover. 27-23 is our score as the Wildcats lead the Griffins of Diller Hotel. Ricky's Cafe in Hanover ain't just good, it's home. From their daily specials to a full menu, choose your favorite served fresh, hot, and fast. Your family when you stop at Ricky's Cafe and you're welcome anytime. Enjoy the delicious menu choices, and of course, when you're hosting an event, bring Ricky's Catering along. With a variety of options available, always at affordable prices. Call for your next engagement and count on Ricky's Cafe at Hanover. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend Crop System and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. See Andy Bruna at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover for a full line of your everyday hardware needs and all the building supplies you'll need to get the job done right. Just about anything you might need around the farm or home is found at Andy's. And always fast, friendly service when you need it. It just makes good sense to shop at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, Kansas. A out Wildcat Booster, that's Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover. For affordable housing, contact the Hanover Housing Authority in Hanover, Kansas. Proudly serving the Hanover community, Hanover Housing Authority offers one- and two-bedroom apartments for rent. The apartments are part of a property with a laundry facility, office, commons area, and maintenance shop. The apartments are clean, safe, and affordable and are located close to schools, businesses, and churches in the Hanover community. Hanover Housing Authority does not discriminate tenants. For more information, contact 785 785- 337-2692. Back here in Hanover, 27-23 is our halftime score as Papa Shop is still continuing. Got a, a lot of kids out there. Gonna get a roll them back on through as Diller Odell is coming back onto the court halftime or second half action just about three minutes away here now in Hanover. Going to look at what need, both teams need to do in order to come away with a your victory. Going to start with the visiting Griffin. They held Hanover pretty good there defensively. A team that averages almost 65 points a game. Hold them to 27 and a half. Pretty decent job. Just going to need to continue that effort and to continue to use the big bodies they have on the glass. Mentioned it a time or two there in the first half. Diller Odell size-wise in terms of weight and I guess shoulder width is the best way to put it. Bigger than Hanover this year, than Hanover lengthier, Hanover quicker, and just a little bit more athletic all off the board compared to this Diller Odell team. So if you're the Griffins, you keep finding, you keep trying to find a way to get the ball inside because that is where you have had the most success here tonight. For Hanover, a few triples have went down, a few lucky shots too. You've got to keep running this offense. Talking to Corey Jensen here before this game, and he said half-court execution is going to be a key for his team heading into the second half of the season. And this is a great opportunity and a great test second half to see how you come out and execute, try and run some clock, try and, you know, run that offense a little bit. With a four-point lead, you're going to come out here. You don't want to start off slow by any means, but those quick layups and those those uh, turnovers and those easy twos that they have forced from their defense here early on in the season, not a case with this Diller Odell team. So for a somewhat younger Hanover team, just keep your composure, keep on grinding, and don't let Diller Odell catch a run. They're there in the second quarter. Diller Odell got a, about a five-point run there, and the momentum almost started to shift. It's a big group for Diller Odell here tonight, a lot of support. 
but just on the Hanover side. You have to keep the home crowd into it here tonight. 27-23 is our halftime score. We're going to take one more timeout. Second half action coming your way here on KNDY Radio. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Brune Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Brune Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Brune Implement Company, since 1947. 4 well, o'clock rolling now. Second half action about ready to kick off here in Hanover. It will be the white and blue of the Wildcats with the ball first. 16 minutes left to play here in this game to the right to see who gets to be called cross state winners. It'll be Brigham Bruna with the ball up top now here near side as he tries to work it down low into Brainland Mine. They can't. They swing it back up top. Finally get it the cross court pass here near side. Chase Bruna in the right corner. Get it down low to Zarbanicki. Zarbanicki, nice little spin move. A little fake to the left. Couldn't get that one to fall though. Offensive rebound. Chase Bruna on the left block. Nice little fight through. Power through. Second opportunity. No good. Hanover comes up empty on their first offensive possession. Two opportunities there offensively. Got to the board but couldn't count to any of them. Now Diller Odell working the ball up top. It's going to be McKinney working against Brigham here near side. Brigham. They swing it over Vitosh there working against Braylon Mine. Now they go inside and there's that physicality of Diller Odell taking over. Cooper Morgan going to continue his hot start at nine points there in the first half. An easy two to start off this second half. Down baseline Brigham Bruna is going to try a three from the right corner. He's going to hit it. Brigham Bruno with his second triple here tonight. Seven points on the evening as a little clap there from the junior looks to get this defense going for the Wildcats. Up top it goes Vitosh as he's looking to get it inside to Morgan. Camp swings it over far side towards Warren. Warren gets it inside though, down low to the post. Morgan comes away with the offensive rebound. TJ Vitosh is going to try that three. He's going to get no good. He's wanting to foul looking at the ref Brigham. Bruna thought he got him on the arm, didn't, and an offensive foul is going to be on Diller Odell fighting for that rebound as fouls continue to pile up now for the Griffins. That, <laughs> that foul is going to be on Caden Sutton, the senior. That's going to be his third personal here in this contest. Diller Odell fighting some foul trouble. Caden Sutton now with three. Preston Engelman had three there in the first half, and Zachary Warren had two in the first half as well. Hanover was able to shoot free throws about all the way through that second quarter in a few minutes there in the first. Working it around now, top side as Diller Odell's kind of in a box and one. They get it to Chase Bruna. Now they get Brigham Bruna here, right corner. He's going to fire it up another three. No good offensive rebound. Skied for Cooper Morgan. Gets up high. The sophomore from Diller Odell as Diller Odell pushes it. They swing it near side. Nice little push right side. Couldn't get it to go. Sutton going to find the mark. As coming out of it is Cole Meyer. Meyer's going to push. That's going to be a carry as he tried to find a cutting mine down the left side but just a little bit too quick with his move. Right idea, saw the guy as did I, but just thought the right, I guess, execution you're going to want to call it. So sloppy play for both teams now here as it's going to come back to Diller Odell's way. Five-point lead for the Wildcats, but the Griffins looking to cut into it. Here near side, Warren's going to work against Bruna. They're going to give it off to Vitosh. Vitosh going to get in the lane, knocked away by Zarbanicki. That's going to be a travel here as controlling that ball, but not able to keep those happy feet down. Caden Sutton. Couldn't quite jump step through on that little take. Good take, but just going to keep those happy feet in place. Now 2-3 zone for the Griffins. They're going to extend out nicely. They're going to try and get it to Brian Bruna here, left side. And Zarbanicki is going to pick up the personal foul as he was working top side against Vitos. I believe that is going to be foul on TJ. Second team foul now already for the Griffins. And that, and that will be actually on... 
Colin McKinney, so his first personal foul. They swing it far side. Says Hanover, three ball in the corner, no good. Rebound's going to be fought for, tipped away. Saved at half court by Brigham Bruna. Good save to Chase Bruna as now they get it to Zarbanicki on the left block. Zarbanicki trying to work there. That's coming from behind and poking it loose is Kayla McKinney, and that's going to stay, though, Diller O'Dell's way. Coach for Diller O'Dell, Dylan Hendricks just saw a warning and his barking at the officials. Didn't like it too much there. Uh, but Diller, but Hanover will inbound it underneath their own basket. Meyer to trigger, gets it. Left side, Zarbanicki as they're trying to get it right back to Meyer. Tried a little alley-oop pass, and that's going to be no good. Looking for mine there on the block. Just not a smart pass there from the seniors. He threw it into a group of Diller Odell Griffins. That's going to be a foul on Braylon Mine. That is going to be his second personal foul now here on the evening as Diller Odell looks to, cook, looks to cut into this four-point lead. Trying to back his way down as he did. He thought backing down there. Braylon Mine. Mine's given up a bounce. 75 pounds, 65 pounds. The big player is Vitos as he worked his way down, picking up the personal foul. Now that's going to be two or three on mine as back-to-back fouls for the freshman. Got him in a little bit of a trouble here. Inbounder will be Warren. He gets it quickly up top. Now they try to fit Warren on the backside screen. Now they get it here near side, a little cross court. The hot ball traveled into the hands of Warren. Vitos is going to try a three as he lines up the three. T.J. Vitos with a big triple as that's all he does for the Diller Odell team. It's big three after big three. Only two buckets here, but they have just come at big times and in big places. Working by her left side. It's going to be mine trying to get it. Now he's going to line up the three ball. His own. Braylon Mine, and what has been with this answer for Hanover every time Diller Odell gets a bucket or a big three to swing a little momentum their way. Back comes a triple by the Wildcats. They need to get a stop now. Here is Hanover. Thompson Sutton with the ball in his hands about the elbow. They're going to work at the Vitoff. She's going to go hard off the line. Offensive rebound taken down. Zachary Warren gets it. He's going to be fouled on the ground. Will be the trigger man now as this defense for Hanover getting just a little bit riled up, getting a little bit out of sorts now. Second or third foul now on Chase Bruna. The senior has three three-team fouls for Hanover. They swing it near side. That's going to be Vitoff somehow coming away with it, but stolen and then absolutely plowing over Tana Bruna. T.J. Vitoff is going to pick up that first personal foul, going to be the first for the freshman. As a scrum has almost kind of broken out in this third quarter. A lot of bodies flying, a lot of big bodies, but you know it means something to both these players and to the fans too as well. Bring Bruna in the corner, swings it up top now to Chase. Chase trying to work, gets it to Tanner, and down below I think we're going to have a double foul. Zarbanicki and Vitos will pick up personals as some body actions are going to be thrown around. Double foul. Coach wanting a jump ball. Not going to happen. So Josh Zarbanicki will pick up his second personal foul. Now that's going to be two on T.J. Vitoff, so neither of those players in too much trouble. 33-28 is our score. Just rolled under four minutes to play here. Third quarter action is Hanover as they get it to Brigham here. Left side, he tries a cross-court pass, gets it to Tanner. Right side as they get it inside. Now to Chase Bruna. Chase Bruna working that right block as he gets it off the mine. Mine trying to get inside, gets it back outside to Bruna. Bruna trying to go right back to mine as they switch places there on the left block. Finally kicks it out here near side, Tanner Bruna. Bruna switches it up off to Zarbanicki. Zarbanicki's going to count a three. The senior has been a calming effect here for the Wild type Wildcats tonight as Josh Zarbanicki now has 10 on the night. Second triple of the evening, 36-28 is our score. Nice little entry pass for Vitoff couldn't find the mark as it went over the hands of Cooper Morgan. Back over to Hanover, an unforced turnover from Diller Odell as that's going to force Dylan Hendricks to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. 36-28 is our score as Hanover leading Diller Odell. For all your gas and service needs, it's OK Service Station in Hanover. You'll get fast, friendly, dependable service every time you visit. They have fuel available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Ask how you can get a gas card for 24-hour fueling at OK Service. They also handle tires, tire repair, exhaust work, and oil changes, too. Stop by, say hi to the folks at OK Service in Hanover. Main Street Market in Hanover is a proud supporter of all Wildcat Athletics. Stay up to date on all the new deals, sales, and more by visiting their Facebook page. 
Stop by and check out everything they have for your next gathering, family event, or game day. When holidays roll around, don't fret. Main Street Market has you covered. Sure to have everything you need to keep the family full and happy. That's the Main Street Market, downtown Hanover, your local hometown grocery store. Back and forth game here in this boys contest, 36-28 is our score. If you're just joining us, the Hanover Lady Wildcats were able to defeat the Diller Odell Griffins. 59-42 was our final score in that game. All starters scored for Hanover as they were led by 15 from Anna Juneman. Macy Hawley also pitched in 10. On Diller Odell, Malia Weirs, the sophomore, had nine points in the first half, ended up with 18, fouled out with 4.15 left to play in the game as it was not enough. As the Hanover Wildcats move on to 5-0 in ladies' play, boys here in this action trying to move to four ahead of one. Of course, Diller Odell comes in a respectable 3-3 three and three under head coach Dylan Hendricks trying to get a win here against cross-state rival Hanover. Trapping defense now for Diller Odell as they come out trying to force some turnovers into the lane. Zarbanicki goes, and he does turn it over. Running now opportunity for Diller Odell. Hanover wanted to travel, but they're not going to get it. Coop Morgan's going to bring it across the timeline trying to get it to Warren, and he finally does off a tip there from Chase Bruna. Good hands there by the senior out top, and we're going to have a charge called as the senior moving his feet, keeping those puppies shaken. Zachary Warren's going to pick up that personal foul on the charge. Third personal now for the junior, Diller Odell, and back to Hanover it goes as they nurse this eight-point lead. 440 left to play here, third quarter action. It's going to be mine here, right side, trying to get it to Tanner Bruna, and he does left side. A little 1-3-1 one, one pressing zone, it looks like. Finds Brigham Bruna in the corner. Now Zarbanicki working against that left side. Bruna in the corner is going to try another triple. That's going to be off. No good. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Engelman for Diller Odell. He's going to give it off to Warren, and Warren's going to push here quickly down the center of the court. Warren right into the lane. Blocked. A lot of bodies going flying. Zarbanicki comes away with it. We're going to have not a foul, but a loose ball. Bruna's going to come away with it. That's going to be Chase. Chase gets it up off the mine. Mine's going to roll over a player. Diller Odell is not a happy. Dylan Hendricks is almost out the half court, but that's going to be a foul nonetheless on Diller Odell. <laughs> Hendricks has got to be careful. He's already got one warning. He's absolutely letting the wrist hear it as that whole Diller Odell side of the crowd is not happy. Sugar Man will be Bruna for Hanover. They go quickly up top, and another foul is going to be called. Going towards the line will be Zarvin Nicky. If you've ever been in this gym, it is loud here tonight for a December game. There are some emotions and there are some heated discussions going on here tonight, but this is what we absolutely love in high school basketball. So two fouls there on Diller Odell as Zarbanicki not able to hit the front end of the one and one or the two shot opportunity. So two fouls there on Diller Odell. One was on Zachary Warren. That's going to be his fourth now. The other was on Preston Engelman, his third. So 17 fouls for Diller Odell. As second free throw is up and good for Josh Zarbanicki. That's going to be four points here in the quarter for the senior. He's going to stay out on the court. I think he's played just about every minute of this game. But if you're a a senior, this is what you want. You want your coach to trust you on these moments, and this is what you play for. Two minutes left to play, third quarter action. We toss up top, working against Bruna. He's trying to use that big body of him. Body kept his feet moving. We're going to get a body foul called on Braylon Mine. The freshman did a good job of moving his feet against the bigger VTOS, but not good enough as he's going to pick up his fourth. That's going to bring a sub now for Coach Jensen. Cole Meyer will come back into the game for mine with those four fouls. Don't expect him to see him the rest of this third quarter. 153 here to play. 37-28 is our game. Trigger man will be Windland for Diller Odell. He gets to the beat off up top, tightly guarded by Cameron Juneman, trying to work his way down low is the bigger VTOS. Now they swing it up top using that body. Nice little take. That's, nope, we're going to have a block called is going into the lane. Caden Sutton, the senior, just went plowing through there, standing down below with the smaller Brigham Bruna. I think he's going to pick up the personal foul on that blocking foul, but these players putting it all out on the line, body, mind, and spirit. It's all getting left out there tonight. 
That foul, that foul will be on Brigham. It's going to be his first personal foul to go along with his seven points in this contest. First free throw is up and no good for Caden Sutton. As now Diller Odell is more two, one for two from the line here in this contest. Only shot two free throws in that first half. They were one for two. That was Cooper Morgan who was able to hit it dead off the back of the rim. Don't know how that one went in. Kate Sutton gets the second of two to go down. 37-29 is our score. Working it here top side. It's Tanner Bruna. Swings it over far side to Juniman. Juniman now gets it inside to Bruna again as they swing it back out. Still working in that left corner. Bruna trying to work against Sutton. Not Sutton not giving anything as he gets it up to Zardinicki, top the key. Zardinicki working at that high post, going to power his way through. Big left hand. We're not going to have it called on the floor, or excuse me, a shooting foul. It is going to be on the floor, but nonetheless, that's going to be a one-on-one opportunity now for the senior as Josh Zardinicki will step to the line where he is three for four here on this evening. 18 fouls now for Dora Odell as Hanover will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Substitution for the Griffins. McKinney will come in, taking a set will be Engelman, as that foul is going to be on Cooper Morgan, his second for Adiller Odell. First free throw from the front end is good for Zardinicki, able to make do with his opportunities here tonight. The senior has been a calming force and a big anchor down low for this Hanover defense and offense, too. They really like to run him off that high post. He does have some range, already hit one three, or excuse me, two threes in this contest as he calmly knocks down the second. Ten-point lead now. Hanover has extended it up a little bit. Energy still high, though. 118 left to play here. Third quarter, full fourth quarter coming here after this one. A little trouble with it out top, but finally handling it. Does Sutton. He gets it here near side to Vitoff. Up top now it goes to McKinney on the right side. On the right side, it's going to be Sutton in the corner working against Zardinicki. Zardinicki not wanting to pick up a foul. That's going to be a walking foul down low. I believe that was Tanner Bruna sticking his skinny frame in there. The freshman putting his body on the line, stepping to the lane for free throws. Will be Caden Sutton. As crowd wanted the charge there, they're not going to get it. Was pretty close, but that's why I don't get paid to be an official. You can't pay me enough to do that. Free throw up and good. Caden Sutton's going to can, calmly can his first one. He's now two for three from the line. The Hanover tr- crowd tries to give their defense a little encouragement. Quick free throws up, no good. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Tanner, so ball don't lie. Bruna will bring it up here right side. He's going to hit Brigham Bruna. Can he hit another one? No, but he is going to go for the line again for three free throws. Second opportunity now tonight for Bruna as he went one for three from the line early on in this game. Now he's going to step here in the third quarter. Opportunity to hit three. Foul's going to be on Kalen McKinney, the junior, Diller Odell's way. Second personal, ninth team. So three free throws now for Bruna. He puts the first one up and pure. Brigham had seven points there in the set first half. A lone triple and then the one free throw off his a foul the three point a tip. Second one is pure and good. Fifty four seconds left to play now here in Hanover as they hold the eleven point advantage. Free throw is up and no good as Brigham Bruna couldn't go three for three from the line, two for three, still eleven point advantage, though Wildcats for the white and blue. Diller Odell goes swinging it in near side, almost stolen away by Cameron Juniman. Good job by the sophomore to step into the passing lane there. It's going to go stay, though, Diller Odell's way. They're going to go three men at the free throw line. That's going to be tipped by Zardinicki, who got his long hands up there. Tip the inbound pass, and he's going to steal it. Bruno's going to bring it the other way for Hanover. That's Tanner. Top the key. They get it left wing to Zarbanicki. Now into the lane. That's Cole Meyer. He can't get that one to go as the senior can't find the mark here in the second half. Five points for him in the first. None in the second. 25 seconds left to play. Third quarter action. 41-30 is our score. Right side is going to be Wendland trying to work against Bruna. Top the key. Now they swing it. Right corner McKinney. McKinney gets it down low into the post. Good little find here near side. Three's going to be on the way. That was tipped there. Almost Cole Meyer did get a hand on it. Zarbanicki comes away with it. Eight seconds left. Zarbanicki's run down the left side of the lane. Wild shot. Oh, going to get that one to go. Almost had it go down. But I believe that's going to be the last shot here as Hanover takes an 11-point lead, 41-30, into fourth-quarter action. Keep it right here. The good one is about to ensue. 11-point lead for Hanover against Diller Odell. At Kramer Oil, they know you have options when it comes to a propane provider. 
But why call an out-of-town company when Kramer Oil is local, reliable, and flexible? Personal attention and propane when you need it, where you need it, along with convenient text ordering options. New customers get $0.10 off per gallon on their first delivery. Contact them by calling or texting 785-562-2466. The Kramer Oil Family, serving your family since 1976. Sutton Repair in Odell can work on all makes and models of cars, trucks, or vans. With over 45 years of experience, their ASE certified technicians can get your vehicle running in top condition. All engine work, including transmissions. They offer a 25-point inspection on all oil changes, computer diagnostics, and new tire sales. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Small town service, big time know-how. Sutton Repair in Odell. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer. Since 1947, the staff of Bruna Implement Company works daily to provide the best parts and service when you need it the most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. They know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer in Marysville, Washington, Clay Center, Seneca, Hiawatha, and now Humboldt, Nebraska. Max Blasky with you here on the call as Diller Odell is looking to make this a comeback. Still trailing by 11. They were down 27-23 at half as Hanover has extended their lead a little bit in that third quarter. But a back and forth third quarter it was. And now an opportunity to cut it into single digits as stepping to the line will be the senior Caden Sutton for Diller Odell. Already with nine points here on the evening is picking up the foul as Chase Bruna for Hanover. That's going to be his fourth team's eight there as Sutton could not find the mark from the free throw line. Second free throw is going to be up and good there for the senior. Ten point game now as Hanover brings it around the other way. Swinging it around the top of the key. It's going to be Zarbanecki with the ball in his hands. Brigham Bruno left side. Now swings it here near side. I believe that's going to be Cameron Juniman. Gets it up top there towards another Juniman. Three ball on the way in the corner. Chase Bruno tried to find it. Brigham Bruno is going to get the ball back in his hands. Left corner. He can't find the mark from deep. And Cameron, or Kalen McKinney is going to bring the ball away for Diller Odell. So two opportunities from deep there for the Wildcats. Couldn't find any one of those as quickly the other way. Diller Odell comes into the lane, trying to work his way against the postman, running a foul and not getting it, but getting the two is Cooper Morgan there as the big man for Diller Odell makes his presence known. The Griffins decide to go back down where they had so much success in that first half. Quickly there, the other way, Zarbanicki has it left block, which will turn around. Nice shot there from the senior and a fist bump to go along with it. Six points there for the senior in the third quarter. Really led the way for Hanover as now Bill O'Dell has it offensively. We're going to end the lane. It does get to the big body Sutton. Sutton works down low on that left block, and he's going to get an easy deuce now as we are trading buckets here in Hanover. Quickly the other way, Bruna goes to get it to Zardinicki down low, and that's going to be a pushing foul down low. That's going to be Caden Sutton, his fourth personal foul. That's just getting into the body of Zardinicki when Sutton picks up the personal. Zardinicki will step to the line as Hanover will shoot two fouls the rest of the way. 17 fouls now for the Griffins of Dora Odell as Hanover is holding this 43 to 35 lead. First free throw was up and good for Josh. That foul was on Kate Sutton. That's going to be his fourth personal. Second free throw though is going to be no good. For Zarbanicki, as he has all three points now for Hanover in this third, or excuse me, fourth quarter. Fighting his way into the lane will be Sutton for Diller Odell, but just a loss of concentration as the turnover is going to give it back now to Hanover. Not something that Diller Odell can afford at this stage in the game, trailing 44 35 with 6 18 left to play. Now Diller Odell is going to bring pressure. They're looking to trap the corner. They don't. They get it to Chase Bruna, top of the key. Now they swing it down low. Nice little push off. I thought it was going to get an offensive foul, but no. Tanner Bruna comes in, gets the two for Hanover, as that's going to be the first bucket for the Wildcats or for either team from the bench here tonight. 
Quickly the other way and blocked there. Down low, Cole Meyer getting his left hand on that one and putting that shot up. Sutton couldn't find the mark. Good athleticism there by Meyer. Quickly the other way into the lane. Nice little tough move. Tanner Bruno though, will step to the line now. Opportunity to put some points on from the free throw line. Bruno now will step to the line. Two points just moments ago. Last one. For first bench points for either team. That's going to be a foul out. First one, Zachary Warren, the junior for Diller Odell. Foul out with four points here in this contest with 5.50 left to play in this quarter number four. So a short bench gets even shorter for Coach Hendricks as he's going to have to deal with foul trouble. Caden Sutton, also a big part of this game, has four as well. First free throw is going to be off the right side as Tanner Bruna can't find the mark from the free throw line. First opportunity now tonight for the freshman as he has come off the bench. Fought in two points, but done more than that. He's been on the defensive end, a few boards too for the freshman. Been all over a good looking freshman class. This handover team has over here. Can't make a free throw though, as 0 for 2 from the line goes Bruna. Quickly the other way, it's going to be McKinney here near side. Crosses the big Wildcat at half court. Swings it over here near side to Wendelin. Wendelin looking to get something going. Tries to hit Vitoff off the key. Now swings it over far side towards McKinney. McKinney on the right wing. Now right up top back to Wendelin as these two bring it back and forth. Trying to get into the lane and use that wide shoulder. Will be Sutton. Sutton can't find the mark from about three foot around. Rebound's going to be brought down by the smaller Tanner Bruna. But keeping his feeding and keeping his composure, knocking it off his leg, it will stay Hanover's way. Trigger man now will be Brylin Mine. Mine will whip it in to Chase Bruno. Now back over to Mine, right side. 520 left to play here in this contest. 46-35 is our score. Swings it over Zarbanicki, left corner. Hanover looking to run a little clock here, but still looking to get a good place. Chase Bruno hounded tightly up top there. Finds a nice backdoor cut. Good cut and fine. Josh Sargon, Nicky, moving without the ball, and Chase Bruna finding the man top of the key. That's how you break this pressure of Ziller Odell. Just like that, Hanover 13-point lead as they go inside to their big man, Cooper Morgan. He spins around, puts up another deuce. As two goes back towards Zillow Odell, trading bucket. Zarbanek is going to try a three from left wing. No good. Rebound taken out. Chase Bruna. Chase Bruna is going to step now to the line. Opportunity to get two more from the line is another foul. Ziller Odell. Let's see who this one on. It looks like 32. I believe that will be TJ Vidosh. It will only be his third personal if they give it to him. Step into the line it will be Chase Bruda, who is three for four from the line here tonight. That was on Vitosh, his third. First free throw is no good. So Hanover is two for three here in the corner. Into the game will be Preston Engelman. Substitution for Diller Odell. Also into the game for the Wildcats of Hanover. Cameron Juneman will come in. Braylon Mine will take a seat with those four fouls. Bruna, that's Chase, stepping to the line, just missed his front end of the first one. Second one's going to be up and pure, though, as that extends Hanover's lead, 49-37, to 37, 12-point advantage, 440 left to play here in this fourth quarter. Zillow Odell has fought valiantly here tonight, but it hasn't been enough, and that's going to be a double dribble turnover. Preston Engelman, as he kind of got a little tripped up, kind of tried to keep his dribble, but couldn't quite do it. Is this going to go back over to Hanover? Diller's going to bring full court pressure. That's going to be Cooper Morgan, going to be the only one pressuring. Zarbanicki will bring it up. Been very impressed with the senior here tonight. He can run just about any possession. Coach Jensen wants him to, but very effective in the post. Five out now for the Wildcats as they try and work it around. It's going to hit Brigham Bruna in the corner. Now they're going to swing it up to Mine. Mine's all thought about a three. Brigham thought about a three. And he's going to grab enough three seconds call is going to be the call. So Hanover did a good job. Um, Diller Odell came out in some pressing man-to-man defense. Hanover just spread it out five out. Let your guards kind of take advantage of this bigger Diller Odell team. They did this, that, but they couldn't finish off the opportunity. Still nursing a 12-point lead, though, with Hanover. 49-37 is our score as we play fourth quarter action here in Hanover. Swings it here near side. Almost hit there into the lap of me. We're going to have a foul, though. Cameron Juneman was the antagonist on that one, getting into the passing lanes, causing some disruption. And just like that, Diller Odell's going to foul, trying to fight for the ball. That's going to be on number 11, Preston Engelman, his fourth personal foul. So now two Griffins with four. That's Caden Sutton and Engelman, already one. 
been disqualified for foul. Zachary Warren finished the game with four points for the Griffins. Stepping to the line will be Cameron Juneman. He's going to calmly <clears throat> knock down his first free throw as that's going to be the first points on the night for the sophomore. Only bench points here tonight coming from Hanover, and it has been in this fourth quarter. Tanner Bruna hit a two moments ago, and now Connor Juneman has knocked in two for two from the line. 100% from the line. Can't ask more from the sophomore trying to close out this game. Just rolled under four minutes ago. as in the lane. Nice little runner was Ridlin Windland, and that's going to be a quick timeout for Dylan Hendricks and his Dylan Odell Griffins. We're going to take it with them. 51-39 is your score. Fox 355 left to play. People like all different kinds of cars, but there's one thing everyone wants in a car, quality. Same thing's true with your car loan, new or used, buy or lease. You want quality in your car and in your car loan. For a quality car loan, you know who to turn to. With great rates and personal service, shop like a cash customer with a quality car loan from us. Citizens State Bank of Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Quality banking since 1907. Member FDIC. Sap Brothers Petroleum works hard all year round to be there for you when it matters most. Their goal is simple, to be your number one source for propane, lubricants, and extreme diesel fuel. And they'll reach that goal by treating you like family. Don't wait for winter to set in. Get that propane tank filled today by calling the winning team at Sap Brothers Petroleum. Still proudly serving all of Nebraska and the Hanover community, Sap Brothers is proud to announce their newest location in Blue Rapids. That's Sap Brothers Petroleum, servicing your residential and farming to commercial and industrial needs. Max Blasky with you here on the call. As have been all night long. Hanover Wildcats leading 51-39. Just under four minutes left to play here in this contest. Valiant effort from Diller Odell here. Of course, game is not over yet. A lot could happen in four minutes. Diller Odell was only trailing by four at half. Hanover has extended this out now, 51-39. As much as a 15-point lead for the Wildcats there in the third quarter. But give credit where credit is due. The Diller Odell Griffin's team has not quit fighting. They have not backed down, and here they are trying to force a turnover, and they do. Dillard Odell forces a turnover. Winland's going to come out of it. Gets it up to Morgan. A little spin down the baseline. One of them travel. No good on the lip anyway. Saved here near side. Hanover. It's going to be a Bruna chase. Bruna's going to save it. Baseline and get it over towards Braylon Mine. Mine's going to work left side, and yeah, that's going to be an offensive foul. Josh Gardenick has kind of stuck his butt out there. Tried to block off Cooper Morgan from getting back on the defensive end, so Foul's going to go there. Zardanicki's way onto the Hanover score bucket will go. So opportunity missed there for the Wildcats after a wild sequence of events down here in front of me. No one wanted to control that ball. Coming out of it was Hanover, but Zardanicki's going to pick up his third. They're going to swing it here near side, near still for Zardanicki. Again, is going into the lane, trying to force his way up was Sutton. That's going to be a foul here near side. Cooper Morgan's going to pick up his third as the sophomore is starting to press the issue here a little bit. He's been the only one out pressing the last couple of possessions. But Dillard Odell as a team needs to turn that up. That's going to send Hanover towards the line. Coach Hendricks has a few words there with his sophomore. Stepping to the line now will be Chase Bruna. Chase was one for two moments ago from the line. Foul will be on, yes, Morgan, so his third. Two shots the rest of the way for Hanover. 3.20 left to play here in Monday night action. Off the front of the rim, Chase Bruna can't get that puppy to fall. He's looking to extend off his nine-point first half. A single point there in the first fourth quarter off a rebound is given given Chase the double-digit scoring affair. Makes that 11 now for the seniors. He calmly knocks down the second. 52-39 is our score. 13-point advantage for the blue and white of Hanover. As Bill Odell brings it across the timeline, looking to cut into this. It's not over yet, still fighting. They get it quickly into Sutton. Sutton's going to turn around. Rebound's going to be taken by Hanover. That's going to be Brigham Bruna getting into the action. And a little tie-up we're going to have between him and Preston Engelman, probably the two shortest players on the court here this evening. Nonetheless, it will say Hanover. And now Dillard Odell is going to bring full-court pressure. Straight man-to-man now, as Zarbanicki will be your inbounder. He gets it easily to chase Bruna left side. Bruna's going to bring it up now to right side against the defense of Dillard Odell. Quickly past his man. That is McKinney trying to guard Bruna. They go it, swing it over to mine. 
Mine there in the corner, gets it over to Chase Bruna, top the key. Now he swings it into the corner towards Tanner Bruna. Tanner Bruna goes hard towards the rim, but he's going to be fouled. Net thought it was a block. Cooper Morgan was pretty sure it was. From this end, I thought it was as well, but it is going to be a foul. Chase Bruna will step to the line now as this fourth quarter has slowed, thanks in part to fouls. Dylan Hendricks not exactly sure on that call as well. Cooper Morgan will pick up his fourth personal foul. Free throw is going to be down and good for Tanner Maruna as now he is one for three here on the line for the night. Taking a seat will be Braylon Mine and Chase Maruna. Stepping back into the game, Cameron Juneman will come. Can't see who's standing on that far side. Second free throw is up. No good for Chase. As he is two for five here in this fourth quarter. Free throw shooting hasn't been the strong suit for Hanover in this game. Just dribble in. No one stop. You might as well take the three. Brylin Wheatland here late in the game. Rebound is going to be brought down by Hanover. That's going to be Cole Meyer getting the board, and he's going to slow it down. Do Thanks to the wishes of Coach Jensen. With that, Coach is going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. 53-39 is your score. 2.30 left to play. Double the joy. Double the joy. Double the joy. Double the joy. Ho, ho, ho. We're doubling the joy this holiday season at Blue Valley Technologies. Refer a friend and you get $40 and they get $40. Refer as many friends and family members as you can before the end of the year and the credits will show up on your Blue Valley bill. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash double the joy today. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Not everyone can become a Lennox dealer, so you'll be glad to know when you buy a Lennox from Hanover Electric Incorporated, you not only get the best products in the business, you also get a tradition of experience in making sure your home is as comfortable as it can be. Because every independent Lennox dealer must pass the Lennox Quality Dealer Standards Program, the toughest test in the industry, and what it means is you get a dealer you could always count on. Lennox, one last thing to worry about. Hanover looking for one more win here early on in this season. 2.30 left to play, 59-39, or excuse me, 53-39 is our score. Hanover looking to move to 4-1 and one on the season. Griffin's trying to stay 500. Unfortunately, it looks like they will drop to 3-4 and four here as crowd is starting to thin out just a little bit. I'm sure Diller Odell will start to press. Yep, here it is. They're going to press. They're going to trap. They're going to foul just as soon as they can. Swings it here near side. It's going to be Chase Bruna bringing it across the timeline into the corner. Trap there near side almost, but Bruna gets out of it. Quick handling there from the right-handed man. Finds a cutting Juneman and up and good. Excuse me. That was Chase Bruna finding Tanner Bruna. Tanner Bruna now with five points all here in this fourth quarter. Diller Odell back here offensively, still working, still trying to find a shot. They do a three ball on the way, but that's going to be air ball taken off the rim. Braylon mine, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's going to stay Diller Odell's way, so maybe just exactly what the doctor ordered. Now T.J. Vitoff going to come back into the game for Preston Engelman. And into the game will be Cole Meyer for Hanover, along with Cameron Juneman taking a seat will be Braylon Mine as well as Chase Bruna. Healthier leg, so maybe a little better free throw shooting here later on. Triggerman will be windling for Diller Odell. A little slip shot as you can't get to stood out of bounds as an uncharacteristic turnover for Diller Odell. Will pretty much squash away their chances here tonight unless something miraculous happens. Miscommunication there from Diller Odell as Wayland, who was the inbounder, never actually got back in bounds and threw him the ball. It was McKinney, so turnover Diller Odell. Now Hanover will inbound it. Zarbanicki gets it here near side for Tana Bruna. Tana Bruna hound tightly there. Good job by Engelman. Gets it over Zarbanicki, top of the key. Now it goes into the hands of Mine, who just took his seat. Now comes back out onto the court. Mine, top of the key, is trapped, looking for some help. Stolen away by Engelman. Engelman just takes the pocket, but then loses it off his left hand there. Couldn't quite control it as the junior from Diller Odell, just stronger than Hanover here early on in this third quarter, just took it away from Mine. Zarbanicki will be your inbound here right in front of us. They swing it near side, just two and man to a spot, not even towards a man. 
Kicks it out. Whelan's going to try a three ball on the way. That one's mm-hmm. cash money. Braylon Whelan with a triple here now. That's 55 24 is our score. Zarbanik is going to go down the right hand side of the lane. He's going to find Brigham Bruna. He's going to smartly pull it out. But we're going to try a triple on the way. Chase Bruna with the answer. Brigham Bruna, his. Hit two here or three here tonight. I thought he was going to shoot it from the left corner. Moved it up to Chase Bruna on the left wing. Bruna knocks down the triple 58 24 as people start to head towards the exit. Into the lane, though. Cooper Morgan, not before the end of the whistle blows, is going to get an opportunity for a three point play here. He's going to step to the line. Him foul is going to be on. Cameron Juneman of Hanover. That's going to be his first personal foul here of the evening as Morgan will step to the line. The foul actually was called on Tanner Bruna. He's going to pick up his second. Morgan to the line. No dice from the free throw strike. Hanover comes back the other way. Chase Bruna with the top of the key. No one guarding him. Now they finally pick him up. One minute left to play here in action. Chase Bruna, nice little step through. And one. Nope, he's going to go to the line. Preston Engelman is going to pick up the foul, and I think that's about all she wrote here, folks. 58-44 is our score. 59 seconds left to play as Chase Bruna will step to the line, trying to improve on his free throw night here. Five for nine from the line, so just actually a hair over 50%. You'd like to see that a little higher, though, as the season progresses, but an opportunity now to jump it up. Two dribbles, right hand, long, lengthy senior puts it up and rims off. So five for 10, 50% from the line from the senior. Ten over here tonight, too, as well. Hasn't done the absolute best. I'll have total stats and scores here just after this game is over, so stick with it. Free throw now for Bruna is up and good. 59-44 is Hanover's advantage as Bruna will take a seat. Brigham Bruna will now step into the lineup. 59 seconds left to play. 59-44 is our score. Across the timeline, it comes here near side McKinney. Now they swing it over here towards Sutton. Sutton trying to work against the defense. Wendell, Wendland thought about a three. Now they swing in here now it's near side. TJ Vitos is going to try up that three. That's going to be an air ball for rebound taken in by Cooper Morgan. Morgan's going to pound that glass. He's going to get another two to his stat sheet as Hanover or Dillard Odell still pressing. That thought was going to be a travel, but it wasn't near side as Tanner Bruna gets away with it. Swings it up top near now side. Cameron Juneman, 26 seconds left to do. Ball out top into the hands of Tanner Bruna. Strong dribbling there. Vitos is going to pick up his personal foul. believe that will be four there on the big man as it will be all window dressing from here. 21 seconds left. 59-46. Yep, fourth personal foul on T.J. Vitos, the senior from Dillard Odell as stepping towards the line will be Tanner Bruna. Calmly sinks the first of two there. Bruna now with six points in this contest all in the fourth quarter. Zarbanicki will take a seat. Patrick Cook will come in for the Wildcats. Hayden Barons will also come in now, a junior, along with Grant Beekman, a sophomore. And number five, Garrett Martin, a sophomore. So a bench is cleared here for Coach Jensen and his Hanover Wildcats. Second free throw is up and good for Chase Bruna. Or excuse me, that's going to be Tanner Bruna. Knocks down the second of two. 15 seconds here to play. Long three on the way. Offensive rebound. Dillard Odell's way. Milan's going to try up another three. Rebound's going to be pulled down here near side by Hanover. That's going to go in the store sheet to Patrick Cook. And the junior's going to dribble it out. 61-46 61-46 is our final score here as Hanover moves to 4-1 and one on the season. Diller Odell drops to 3-4. and four. We're going to take a timeout, but keep it right here. We'll have stats, scores, and highlights as the Hanover Wildcats defeat the Diller Odell Griffins. 61-46. to You made your house a home. With a homeowner's insurance policy from Blue Valley Insurance, we can relax knowing that things you treasure are protected. I'm Dave Savage, and as an independent insurance agent, we sell for a number of different companies to give you the best price. 
With our flexible options, savings, and expert service, you'll know that your home is getting the best protection possible. We're Blue Valley Insurance of Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. From the ground up, Midwest Product Hanover can assist with concrete drives, parking, walks, entries, foundations, and support walls. Quality people help produce quality products, and you can rely on their crews for a job done right. Concrete plants at Hanover, Washington, and Clay Center. Midwest Products also haul rock, sand, and gravel. They have a crane for rent and can assist with site preparation. Start your next job with a call for a quote today from Midwest Products at Hanover. 71 degrees all the way. 73 degrees, please. When it comes to keeping your home warm this winter, what's your perfect degree of comfort? We'll help you find it with a new Rheem heating system that'll keep you warm, save on energy costs, and may qualify for utility rebates and tax credits. So enjoy a new degree of comfort this winter. 72 degrees and I'm in heaven. Get professional service and all brands of equipment. Call B&W Electric in Hanover, your local Rheem contractor at 785 337 98 today. At Kramer Oil, they know you have options when it comes to a propane provider, but why call an out-of-town company when Kramer Oil is local, reliable, and flexible? Personal attention and propane when you need it, where you need it, along with convenient text ordering options. New customers get 10 cents off per gallon on their first delivery. Contact them by calling or texting 785-562-2466. The Kramer Oil Family, serving your family since 1976. Quality health care dedicated to your satisfaction. That's the standard of the Handover Hospital and Warren Clinic. Your choice for quality care right where you live. Doctors Roger and Linda Warren and nurse practitioners Aubrey Schaefer and Jada Edgar offer general hospital and surgery services, home health, swing beds, and long-term care. Hanover Hospital and the Warren Clinic, your choice for quality health care right where you live. Hanover Wildcats move to four and one on this young season. Diller Odell drops to three and four. Going to take a look at stats and scores from the boys' game. Hanover was led in part by Josh Zarbanicki, who had seven points in the first half, ended up with 18. All starters scored for both teams, as that was where the majority of the points came from. Chase Bruna pitched in 15 as well for the Wildcats, nine from Brigham Bruna on two triples and free throws, five points for Braylon Mine, the freshman, and Cole Meyer, the senior, also pitched in five all there in the first half. Coming off the bench, Tanner Bruna had seven all in the fourth corner, and Cameron Juneman, two as well. For Diller Odell, they were led in part by Cooper Morgan, the sophomore at 17, nine at half, 12 points from Cade Sutton, three points from TJ Vitosh, two points from Callan McKinney, two points from Zachary Warren, two points from Preston Engelman, and Braden Wingland put in five points off the bench, two from Diller Odell. 27-23 was our halftime score. Hanover opened that up there in the third quarter, outscoring Diller Odell 14-7, to where they finished it off 20-16, to outscoring them in the fourth quarter to move now towards 3-1. and Once again, 6-1, and or excuse me, 61-46 to was our final score in the boys' game. Hanover, Hanover girls were able to beat Diller Odell 59-42 to as well. We're going to take one more timeout, come back here, preview the next game for both teams, and final thoughts and analysis. Once again, Hanover Sweets, Diller Odell's, in boys and girls action. Ricky's Cafe in Hanover ain't just good, it's home. From their daily specials to a full menu, choose your favorite serve fresh, hot, and fast. Your family when you stop at Ricky's Cafe and you're welcome anytime. Enjoy the delicious menu choices, and of course, when you're hosting an event, bring Ricky's Catering along. With a variety of options available, always at affordable prices. Call for your next engagement and count on Ricky's Cafe at Hanover. See Andy Bruna at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover for a full line of your everyday hardware needs and all the building supplies you'll need to get the job done right. Just about anything you might need around the farmer home is found at Andy's. And always fast, friendly service when you need it. It just makes good sense to shop at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, Kansas, a out Wildcat Booster. That's Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover. 
For affordable housing, contact the Hanover Housing Authority in Hanover, Kansas. Proudly serving the Hanover community, Hanover Housing Authority offers one- and two-bedroom apartments for rent. The apartments are part of a property with a laundry facility, office, commons area, and maintenance shop. The apartments are clean, safe, and affordable and are located close to schools, businesses, and churches in the Hanover community. Hanover Housing Authority does not discriminate tenants. For more information, contact 785 785- 337-2692. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at BFMIC.com. For all your gas and service needs, it's OK Service Station in Hanover. You'll get fast, friendly, dependable service every time you visit. They have fuel available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Ask how you can get a gas card for 24-hour fueling at OK Service. They also handle tires, tire repair, exhaust work, and oil changes, too. Stop by, say hi to the folks at OK Service in Hanover. Main Street Market in Hanover is a proud supporter of all Wildcat Athletics. Stay up to date on all the new deals, sales, and more by visiting their Facebook page. Stop by and check out everything they have for your next gathering, family event, or game day. When holidays roll around, don't fret. Main Street Market has you covered. Sure to have everything you need to keep the family full and happy. That's the Main Street Market, downtown Hanover, your local hometown grocery store. Sutton Repair in Odell can work on all makes and models of cars, trucks, or vans. With over 45 years of experience, their ASE certified technicians can get your vehicle running in top condition. All engine work, including transmissions. They offer a 25-point inspection on all oil changes, computer diagnostics, and new tire sales. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Small town service, big time know-how. Sutton Repair in Odell. Final thoughts here from Hanover as the Wildcats sweep the Griffins of Diller Odell. The Wildcats, Lady Wildcats, move on to five and zero on the season. Of course, they are now three and zero in TVL play. Diller Odell drops to four and three on this young season. From the boys' side, the Wildcats will move to four and one, and the Diller Odell Griffins will drop to three and four. Hanover Wildcats will face off at Lynn on the 3rd of January. will be the next contest after their long extended Christmas break. Diller Odell will start a Christmas tournament 28th or 29th at Tri-County where they come back for a game there on the 3rd as well. Once again here tonight, the Lady Wildcats defeat the Diller Odell Griffins 59-42 and the boys defeat the Griffins 61-46. For Candy Y Radio, I'm Max Blasty. Everyone drive home safe and have a wonderful holiday weekend. KNDY.